Hello Rebel and welcome back to my life. I'm a little burned out talking about serious stuff, so just for today I want to do something that I haven't done in a really long time, and that is review a book I read recently. I only read about 12 books in 2016, which is just very embarrassing to me as an author, so I resolved that this year I'm going to read at least 50 books, but I'm shooting for 100. And the third book I read so far this year was Red Shirts by John Scalzi, and boy was the third book the charm. <laughs> I, I am very deeply sorry for what just happened. So I have loved Scalzi as a person for quite some time, ever since I saw multiple people constantly retweeting him on Twitter and finally just took the plunge and followed him myself. But despite following him for quite some time now, and meeting and getting his autograph at NerdCon Stories, I had not yet read one of his books? Listen, I haven't been reading much, I'm ashamed, and I'm fixing it, okay? So I picked up Red Shirts because it's a Hugo Award winner, but now I definitely want to chew through the rest of his bibliography because Scalzi might be a better author than he is a Twitter r r r r r r and he's really good at that. So first up, the title Red Shirts refers to the expendable red-shirted crew members on basically any Star Trek TV show, and the book does contain a lot of inside jokes and references along those lines. So if you don't know anything about Star Trek, some of the book's enjoyment will be lost on you. But I'm not a huge Trekkie by any means. I haven't seen all of the shows or anything like that, and I still understood everything because so much of that culture is embedded in our social fabric at this point. What is Red Shirts about? Well, it's difficult to say very much much without spoiling things, but let's just say that the expendable crew members of a spaceship realize they are expendable and decide to do something about it. What follows is a sci-fi adventure that is exciting, but is also hilarious, like I had many ugly cry laughing snot flying out of your nose moments in the pages of this book. But in his book, as he will often do on social media or his blog, Scalzi uses the humor to lure you into a false sense of security before an emotional moment plants its foot up your ass. Now those moments don't come frequently enough to make the book feel like Game of Thrones, but if you know me, that's exactly the way I like it. Severe moments of emotion are made more emotional if they are surrounded by an experience that I, like, actually enjoy. Whereas grimdark stories are so one note that I just become numb to the suffering of the characters. If people are already being tortured and having their skin peeled off in little strips, then when one of them dies, it brings relief, not grief. Whereas Scalzi, in very, very few words, by the way, gets you super invested in his characters because they're mostly fun to read about, so that when they're in danger, you really really don't want anything to happen to them. Okay, the story is great and fun. I already told you that I don't want to spoil anything when it comes to the plot, so take my recommendation to read it or not, but I want to talk about my favorite thing in this book, which is its commentary on storytelling and narrative. Ah? Uh, yeah? Well, some of you get it. Because of the unique nature of this story, Scalzi is able to say many interesting things about story as a whole. There's a somewhat subtextual, somewhat explicit opportunity to discuss things like genre and tropes and entertainment versus higher artistic merit. And it also goes pretty in-depth about the consequences of story, because make no mistake, story has consequences. Maybe not as explicit as they are in this book, but we are witnessing the consequences of a lot of stories right now. So while the book may have come out a few years ago, like with any good book, you can definitely pull some things out of it that might apply to what's happening today. Long story short, Scalzi's an awesome person. It turns out that he writes awesome books as well. Red Shirts is definitely worth your money. It won a Hugo Award, for God's sake, and it deserves it. Please go buy and read it. If you're interested, I stuck a link in the description below where you can go and pick it up on Amazon. That is an affiliate link that kicks me a few cents per sale. No obligation to use that, just I'll send it out there. However, I would imagine that more than a few of you have already read Red Shirts, and I love geeking out about good books with other people who also think that they are good, so if you've read it, please tell me in the comments what one of your favorite things was about the books, but tag your spoilers! And that's it for today, Rebel. While you're here, check out another video from my channel. YouTube seems to think you would like that one up there, or you can join my Patreon and see the secret videos I put out every weekend. Mm. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!